to return to find the land we lost. Threaten was over by Ramat for reaching ground. And, and, gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen. Rehearsals, as you can see, are underway for a oh. new production of Chalamot's Hannibal. Monsieur Lefebvre, I am rehearsing. Monsieur Veillet, Madame Jury, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, if I could have your attention. Thank you. As you know, for some weeks there have been rumours of my imminent retirement. I can now tell you that these were all true, and uh, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the two gentlemen who now own the Opera Populaire, Monsieur Richard Firmin and Monsieur Gilles André. I'm sure you've read of their recent fortune amassed in the junk business. Scrap metal, actually. They must be rich. And we are deeply honoured to introduce our new patron, the Vicomte de Chagny. Classic. It's Raoul. Before my father died. At the house by the sea. I guess you could say we were childhood sweethearts. He called me little Lottie. Christine, he's so handsome. My parents and I are honored to support all the arts, especially the world-renowned Opera Populaire. Vicomte, gentlemen, Signora Carlotta Giudicelli, <laughs> our leading soprano for five seasons. Brava, now. brava! <laughs> Signora Ballo Piangi. An honor, Signor. I believe I'm keeping you from your rehearsal. I will be here this evening to share your great triumph. My apologies, Monsieur. Thank you, Monsieur Le Vicon. Uh, once Hello. more, if you please, Signor. He love me. He love me. Thank you, indeed. The one love me, love me, love me. He wouldn't recognize me. Monsieur. We take particular pride in the excellence of our ballet, monsieur. I see why. Especially that little blonde angel. My daughter, Meg Giri. And that exceptional beauty. No relation, I trust. Christine Daillé. Promising talent, monsieur Fama. Very promising. Daillé, did you say? No, no relation to the famous Swedish violinist. His only child. Orphaned at seven, when she came to live and train in the ballet dormitories. An orphan, you say? I think of her as a daughter also. Gentlemen, if you would kindly stand to one side. excited about tonight's gala. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Allora, allora, allora. I hope he is as excited by dancing girls as your new managers. Because I will not be singing. Bye what do we do? Dancing girls. Grovel. Bye -bye. Grovel. Right. Principessa, bella diva. Si, si, si. Goddess of song. E bello. Monsieur Ray. Isn't there a rather marvellous aria for Elisa in Act Three of Hannibal? Uh, uh, Perhaps the Signora. Yes, Monsieur Rayen. If my diva commands. Yes, I do. Signora. Maestro. Think of me. Think of me fondly when we've said good. Promise me you'll try When you find that once again you long to take your Please, 
monsieur, don't look at me. Scott's my judge. I wasn't at my post. Please, monsieur, there's no one there. Or if there is, well then, it must be a ghost. <laughs> Signora, these things do happen. For the past three years, these things do happen. And did you stop them from happening? No! And you too, you're as bad as him. These things do happen. Ma and did you stop these things from happening? This thing does not happen. Orlando, andiamo! Bring my dog here, my foxy. Ah, my nice. Ciao! Signora Giudicelli, she will be coming back, won't she? You think so, monsieur? I have a message, sir, from the opera ghost. Oh, God in heaven, you're all obsessed. He welcomes you to his opera house. His opera house? And commands that you continue to leave box five empty for his use and reminds you that his salary is due. His salary? What? Monsieur Lefebvre used to give him 20,000 francs a month. 20,000 francs? Perhaps you can afford more? With the Vicomte as your patron. Madame, I had hoped to make that announcement public tonight when the Vicomte was to join us for the gala. But obviously, we shall now have to cancel. As it appears, we have lost our star. Uh, yeah, but, uh, surely there must be a, um, an understudy. understudy. Understudy? There is no understudy for La Colotta. A full house, aren't they? We shall have to refund a full house. Christine Daillet could sing it, sir. What, a chorus girl? Don't be silly. She has been taking lessons from a great teacher. Who? I don't know his name, monsieur. Let us sing for you, monsieur. She has been well taught. <laughs> 